thinking about next year, going into what the other changes are, because a lot of changes have happened uh, over the course of the last week uh, since uh, since the um, since the last episode, and one of the biggest ones is that Pacific has a head coach now. Uh, they hired. They hired Dave Smart as to be their next head coach. He was the assistant at Texas Tech just this past year. Um, they made the NCAA tournament. They were 23 and 11, 11 and 7 in the Big 12, uh, a year after they were just 16 and 16 and 5 and 13. Uh, but this is a hire that you really, if you know, if you're in the weeds of basketball, this name will sound familiar uh, because he picked up. 656 wins over 18 years as the head coach at uh, Carleton University in Canada. Uh, 591 of those wins against uh, U Sports teams, which is basically Canada's NCAA. And he was c- the coach of the year of, of that league 10 times. 13 national championships. Uh, He had summer tour wins over the years over Wisconsin, Baylor, Wichita, Alabama, Memphis, TCU. The list goes on and on. And so this was a definitely a out of the box thinking hire because this was someone who spent the last year was uh, watching um, an interview with him recently done by one of the Sacramento affiliates where he talked about how he needed that year um, at Texas Tech with Amer- essentially American basketball and at the college level to kind of get his feet wet and really feel comfortable with it. And now going into a, a situation with Pacific where a lot is needed. We, and we all know, like like and any of us who have watched uh, this the WCC, this Pacific program over the last decade plus knows this is this is a hard job. This is going to be a big, big challenge. And the candidates that I thought you kind of needed to look at of who would be best in there was someone who was going to think outside the box and or someone who is going to look at this to an extent, and not like completely this way, but almost with rose-colored glasses of the opportunities that there are at Pacific, because really at this stage, you can only go one direction. Uh, I have long thought this is, at least like definitely over the last few years, this is the toughest job in the WCC. This is a school that, while they have the facility, the building, like the Spano Center is a good facility for basketball, the we haven't seen that level of support across the board at Pacific because that is the one school in the WCC that doesn't, that doesn't appear to have actually committed the funds financially. And this is going, this is something that has to change if Pacific is going to get better because we've seen the investments from the other schools, both in facilities and then also coaching hires. We've seen what USF has done. We've seen what Santa Clara has done. We've seen what LMU has done. Uh, we've seen what St. Mary's has done. Like all, almost all the WCC teams, like Portland um, going out and uh, finding Shantae Leggins, like San Diego going out and getting Steve Lavin. Like you've seen WCC teams put in put in some level of financing into the, in specifically into men's basketball to try to, again. This is the marquee sport of the WCC, and for Pacific to succeed, they have to try to do something different because what they have been doing hasn't worked. Uh, they have the couple of years of of solid success with Damon Stoudemire, and he and he quickly uh, found a way out and took off. Um, you look at again just their success or lack thereof since they joined the WCC. Uh, they made the NCAA tournament in 2013, which was their last year in being in the big West before rejoining the WCC. And since then they have only finished 500 or better twice. One of those years was that very first year. They've only had 15 or more wins in a season twice in that same time frame, 2014 and then 2020. But this is also a program that, has been to the NCAA tournament more recently than f- 
five of the other WCC teams, LMU, Portland, Pepperdine, Santa Clara, and San Diego. They know they have been there more recently. They know what it takes to get there. Now, albeit that's been auto bid from the Big West, and that is a completely different animal than trying to get essentially you're going to have to get it at large out of the WCC because the mountain to climb to get past both St. Mary's and Gonzaga is, as everyone else in the WCC knows, is uh, it's almost been near impossible for the last 20 years. And the Pacific, the Pacific challenge the, is, I think, trying to get back to a level of respectability, at least like in these first few years. I think that has to be the goal, get back to being competitive. I mean, this team was 0-16 in WCC play this year. They were 6-26 and overall. They were one of the worst, if not the worst team in all of college basketball this year. The Pepperdine game in the WCC tournament was just the, kind of like the microcosm of the whole year. Uh, just how bad that team was. And now uh, Coach Dave Smart is going to really have basically a clean slate. Uh, a lot of the guys a lot of the guys from this past year's team or have already hit the transfer portal. So there's a there's a lot of opportunity to kind of reform what this Pacific program is going to look like, what the possibilities and the potential are. And so to an extent, there is a little bit of a, a an excitement of what someone new could potentially look at and see where, how, how they can find success at that program, because we know it's going to be tough. We know it's going to be challenging. Uh, all the, all the luck uh, to Dave Smart in, in his new role as head coach at Pacific. Uh, I just hope to see Pacific kind of like right back to being a somewhat competitive team going into next year. I mean, it was only a year ago that they were, they were right there in the mix. They were seven and nine WCC play. So it's not like we're that far removed from Pacific being at least a half decent team in the WCC. 